Hi guys, today's video is all about the history of the Day Cityates as a faction in RTR Imperium. So Rectum, this is taken from a longer interview video that I did with Jostle, one of the historians from the mod team. So check that out in the description down below. Make sure you like and subscribe guys, and I'll see you all in the video. So let's move on to the Day Cityates northeast of the RDAI. Uh, up here in sort of the hinterlands, away from the coast, these guys. So, um, I'm assuming these guys were not pirates then. Uh, no, definitely not. They're um, a very minor tribe. Um, with them, we have a kind of delmato Pannonian representation as a faction. Um, but in the sources, they appear very, very, very late. Um, mm. So <clears throat> they are really a uh, one-off many of those many minor tribes that I mentioned, um, but the most powerful of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, they might have been part of the Autariatai, who I mentioned earlier, um, until those were destroyed and they probably just got um, their own little independence from then on. And um, in the sources, specifically, they appear during the Great Illyrian Revolt, so the first mention is basically um, in the first years AD. <laughs> um, yeah. I think four to nine AD is this revolt. Um, it's a huge revolt, um, and you have um, one of the leader is a Desitiatian. De De Desitia. My lord. I can't pronounce that. Sorry. <laughs> Neither can <laughs> I. So it's fine. <laughs> and um, Bato. Um, it's it's really funny because. It, um, there are three leaders, I think. Um, Bato's one of them, and they all end up killing each other. Mm. And um, <laughs> they're not really uh, unified in their in their revolt. Um, the sources say they start with out with like 800,000 men, um, or 800,000 people, with uh, 200,000 fighting men. And this might just be the entirety of those they can mobilize. Um, like they, um, I compare it often to this Polybius section where he mentions all the Roman allies and the manpower they have with like a number of 700,000 up to 800,000 and um, which basically just shows the manpower they could potentially have mm. but can't never uh, can never really realistically mobilize otherwise they'd all starve to death yeah uh, <laughs> because you can't just take all the all the men of fighting age into into the field so, yeah uh, and um so this number of eight hundred thousand daisy theaters and two hundred thousand fighting men explicitly probably just says this is the potential number of warriors they could have mm. But the revolt very quickly shows um, that um, that this doesn't really hold up because the Romans invade, and um, even before any battles battles start happening, half of the the Illyrians who revolted already um, surrender, um, and the Desitiates are among the last ones to surrender. Yeah. Um, but it's questionable if that's a good thing because they're technically <laughs> like the last one standing. But like I said, because Bato also kills one of the other leaders who also previously killed another leader. And um, the Desitiates are probably among the, or are called the most warlike or among the bravest Desitiates, uh, Pannonians. But um, really it doesn't really make a difference against the Romans um, but the Romans take this this revolt quite seriously they they prepared an invasion of um, of Germanic lands of the the Marcomanni mm. and had like a huge number of legions ready this is um, shortly before this um, really famous battle at Tudebok Forest um, and they want, wanted to, to invade the Marcomanni with like a huge force and this Pannonian revolt is um, kind of what distracts them from that so they they offer the Marcomanni a peace um, which they happily ta uh, took because they didn't want to be invaded by the Romans with yeah. such a huge army and they redirect um, this this giant 
army. Um, I'd have to look up how many legions um, there were. Think, was it seven? Was it seventy cohorts? Something like that. Uh, yeah, something along those lines. It's it's a really great number of troops, which mm. which shows that when it um, when the sources say those are there are two hundred thousand fighting men. Um, it's probably in the eyes of the Romans, probably close to that that they perceived it this way, um, because um, yeah, it's it's ten to fifteen legions and seventy cohorts of auxiliary, mm. and um, another fifteen um, array of cavalry with a lot of allies of Thracians and veterans and volunteers. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, ten to fifteen legions. Like uh, this, this is a huge force. Yeah. Um, a around um, esti estimates around hundred thousand legionaries just for this campaign. So yeah, it was a really, really dangerous situation in in uh, it's the, a big eyes of the Romans. <laughs> yeah, um, and they didn't want to lose th this land because it really spread like wildfire. And like I said, um, they really got it. Um, pacified quite quickly. I mean, it's a it's a war of like, um, of a few years. Yeah. Um, but the, the they were they were afraid of of this revolt, um, because a lot of them, um, we might get to them when we update the Romans. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but a, but a lot of them were at the time um, have been subjects of Rome. And been extensively recruited into the legion, so there were a lot of experienced commanders and yeah. um, troops on the sides of the Pannonians and um, the Sitiatus and Delirians who revolted, and a lot of findings in, in the nearby river. I think the, the Savus. Um, a lot of findings of equipment. It's basically just Roman. Hmm. Um, we can't really say if it's from the from the Pannonians or the Illyrians or the Romans. It might have been from everyone, um, because yeah. at this point they were probably all just armed like Romans. Mm. Um, so yeah, it it could have been dangerous, and this is why they were the most prominent tribe in this revolt, which is why we represented them. Um, cool. But yeah, yeah, I think. I think, uh, yeah, again, <laughs> sources, pinch of salt, 800,000 is quite quite a lot. I mean, that would be, yeah. <laughs> that would be what, the largest army that's seen on Europe apart... Um, is that even bigger than Napoleon's invasion of Russia? I, I can't, I can't remember. I thought that was about 850,000. But that would Oof, be um... the largest, the largest up until, like, between those two points, surely, so... That is monstrous, but I think, I think you know maybe eight hundred thousand is a little bit, a little bit out there. But what you yeah, like, obviously, indeed. with the uh, with the the response, it was clearly a very, very massive revolt and something that the Romans were very, very uh, scared of, especially at that period of time when the empire was still was quite large by that point, wasn't it? So. Um, yeah, th this was not a uh, not a <laughs> not like a, a tiny little tin pot revolt that they sent the young boys off to fight. Like it was clearly something that was very severe and, and very scary for them. Yeah, it's it's more than um, or, or it's around thirty years into the reign of Augustus. Like mm. he he's just securing his borders in in um, Iberia and in Germania. He's preparing because. Uh, he's pre preparing an invasion of Germania because um, the the Marcomanni are are kind of looking a bit strong with also I think like seventy thousand men or something, and um, this is just something he doesn't want to have. So he yeah. he prepares that. So suddenly this huge revolt just happening basically in the backyard of Italy is suddenly really scary, and <laughs> we don't we sadly don't have so that many sources on it but um yeah it, it must at the time it must have been quite notable at least when it broke out yeah definitely that's and it, i mean it lasted a few years as well didn't it it wasn't just like one battle bang everyone's gone like Not it was 20 or 30 days <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly yeah <laughs> not like the old uh, 20 or 30 day war no it was uh really serious so 
that's really cool. Uh, I like these guys. I think it's going to be a very difficult start. This might be the hardest start of the Illyrians, honestly, looking at them. Although I have heard the Illyrian Kingdom is, um, from some of the beta testers, that the Illyrian Kingdom is very difficult being sandwiched between the Macedonians and the Epiro. So, um, so it should be. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. I mean... Um, but yeah, this might be one for those uh, those challenge hunters out there like myself to uh, to play. Uh, because you're quite far from the coast. You've got to get through at least two settlements to get to the coast to then trade and actually make money. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this will be a, an interesting one, I feel, to play for all you uh, difficulty hunters. Um, in terms of there, they have, of course, we're on the Northern Illyrians now, so they do get the Northern Illyrian roster. Uh, and then they have their own unit of cavalry, the uh, Day City 8 cavalry over here, which is sort of a skirmisher cav, I believe. Yeah. Cool. There we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. Of course, you can check out the longer video down in the description below. Make sure you do like and subscribe, and I'll see you all again on the next video.